doing on my desk? How did you get up there? Sir? Sir, can I help you? I am going to go ahead and start my prep for the day. I'm really, uh... Hour 10. Why am I doing this? Why am I here? I don't think I know what words are anymore. What are words? What is English? What is writing? Okay, this is editing Lynn. I just uploaded the footage that I took with my camera. Every shot that is specifically of my face, of me talking basically, is out of focus. So sorry, I'm not gonna reshoot any of it because it was like, you know, a vlog. Um, I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen next time. This camera's so old, it's been acting up a lot lately. Yeah, I hope it's not too troublesome, but thank you for putting up with it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lindy Jung. I am an author tuber, book tuber, travel, content creator. Basically, I just make whatever I feel like on this channel and share it with you guys. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It is currently Friday, June 16th, and it is coming up on 8.30 p.m. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock a.m. I'm going to start something called the 24-hour novel challenge. This is something that I stumbled across on Twitter and I was like, that sounds interesting and also potentially awful. So let's look into it because that's like the best combination of things for me. It is a challenge hosted on Twitter. It seems like it's an annual thing. Basically what we're going to do, myself and the other masochistic writers who are participating, is we are going to try to write 50,000 words in 24 hours or the equivalent across two or three days. Everyone kind of goes at their own pace, like it's not a simultaneous event just because time zones exist. Starting tomorrow at 8 a.m., I am going to write basically nonstop for 12 hours each day for two days. So Saturday and Sunday, eight to eight, 12 hours of writing. I didn't meal prep. I basically don't have food in my house, so I guess I'm just gonna be eating like a rat for a little bit. And yeah, I'm just gonna try and see how many words I can knock out in moths in these two days. For me, this is really just an opportunity to hunker down and like focus on writing for 12 hours. It's more about giving myself the opportunity to take a full day and just, you know, write or two full days to just write and focus on that and do pretty much nothing else, like shirk all my other responsibilities. I'm giving myself the opportunity to shirk. I know that going for 50,000 words is really unrealistic, so I'm not doing any of the math. If I try to do like hourly word count, I know I'm just gonna bum myself out and get really dejected, and then the quality of my writing will drop, which will burn me out really fast. Like I had this the last time I tried um, a 12 hour writing challenge. I just burned myself out and I wasn't writing for like several weeks or several months after that. And then I came back to it and was like, what is this? I ended up scrapping most of those words. So the lesson that I've learned from that attempt and that I'm going to come around to like, bring into this attempt is that quality over quantity. <laughs> so here is my strategy for this challenge. I have my trusty, wusty, handy dandy mods planning notebook, and I'm actually going to go ahead and outline all the scenes that I want to complete. This will be roughly the next like 30,000 to 50,000 words of the book. Honestly, mods is almost at 30k right now, so that'd pretty much be like the whole book. I think it'll probably be around like 80,000 to 90,000 words long. So I'm going to outline those scenes. I'm also going to spend the rest of tonight going back and really like diligently looking at what I've written before because I honestly have been struggling with this book a lot again recently. There's just something like went awry. I went back and I looked at the opening and I wasn't happy with it and then I looked at the rest and I wasn't happy with it. Basically there's too many conversations happening and not enough scenes and I'm just like how did I get to this point? I think I was allowing myself to be too messy with the first draft when I need to be more intentional with my words and my scenes, especially because I'm discovery drafting instead of following an outline. So there's basically just a lot of cleanup for me to do and I wanna at least get a head start on that cleanup before I start drafting new words because of course, if the foundation for those new words is bad, then those new words are going to be useless. So. We're going to be outlining tonight, which I will not show. I might show a little bit tomorrow. And then we're going to be looking at those past words. And then tomorrow, bright and early, we're going to go ahead and start writing this damn book. My expectations are really low. I just want to have a good time, a chill time. If I can do like a thousand words an hour and hit maybe like 24,000 words or even just like 20,000 words, I think I'll be really happy. Like that would be amazing progress. I'm just hoping that I can have some sort of epiphany along the way that just like forcing myself to sit down and grind out the words will really help me just sort of get some momentum on this book that I've been missing up until this point. I'm very excited to tackle this challenge. I'm just very excited to write. Of course, before I sign off for the day, I'm just going to, you know, pay my Monty tax. Here is the little boy. He's actually grown so much. He's significantly bigger and he loves to chew on my braids. Wow, what do you think about that? Do you think you could write 50,000 words in 24 hours? Man, I don't know. I don't know how I'll do it. 
Will you get me snacks? Okay, I'll let you go. All right. Okay, so that is basically a wrap on the intro, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Time to go. So here we are. Actually, we're not starting for another 55, 54 minutes, so there's time. Here's the deal. Last night, I spent a good chunk of time mapping out the next couple chapters I want to write. I didn't get that far in terms of the stuff that goes beyond what I've already written, but then I called my friend Sam because, as I mentioned, I've been really struggling with some elements of the first act and a half. Uh, it's mainly the build up to this one big event that happens toward like, I want to say the middle of act two, but even that feels like not correct. This should be the midpoint twist. However, there isn't enough of a build up to it. It's not earned. So by talking to Sam, I figured out a way to like add more chapters and more scenes basically to make this more earned without necessarily cutting that much of what I've already written or like reworking it. I'm also going to be starting with that. Uh, my official start time is going to be 8 a.m. I'm giving myself 50-ish minutes to get my shit together and map out a couple more chapters slash scenes, eat a little and just like let my brain work up to this. I also recently purchased a used copy of Story Genius by Lisa Kron. I wanted a physical copy because it is going to be so much easier to annotate. As you guys know, I love to think about story. I love to talk about stories. When I approach reading craft books, I'm always like, okay, first, what can I learn? And secondly, how can I articulate the things that I sort of already intuitively know and use them consciously to build story more consciously basically that's a little side note i am going to go ahead and start my prep for the day i'm really uh yeah <laughs> i'm really i'm really quite quite stressed even though i'm trying to not give myself hard workout goals i do want to do well like i want to i want to like get as far as possible but we'll see how that works out i will check in with you guys in a little bit bye i totally forgot to mention um but we just announced this as of june 17th the announcement is that i sold my first short story like ever um it's basically like one of the first ones i ever submitted i submitted two last month and this was one of them and the other one i haven't heard back from at all but i sold my first short story to apparition lit which is an amazing magazine i'm so excited to be working with them it's a speculative fiction mag so this is a speculative fiction story and yeah like this is my first paid piece of fiction writing. I'm incredibly excited. This like galvanized me because pretty much the same week that I sold this story, I left my agent. So I was like feeling a lot of highs and lows, but it just made me feel so much more confident in myself as a writer. Maybe like too much. I'm feeling a little bit cocky right now for sure. I'm hoping that the other one doesn't sell so I get kind of balanced out. <laughs> and also because that other one is like a much weaker story, but this one I'm really proud of. It is like so, odd it is about the church so you know a little bit different just definitely not my usual lane but it was a lot of fun to write i experimented a little bit with the form and i mean you guys will see it's gonna be out in july so very happy about that just wanted to put that announcement in here i'll talk about it more in my june writing updates video for this month because that is going to be a doozy all right let's get back to it up on the end of the first hour so it's almost nine i wrote i'm using my word tracker again which i'll show you in a second um but this hour i wrote 1215 words most of it was going back and sort of like reworking or rewriting some of the chapters that i want to rework basically so adding new words to that and sort of like taking out words so i feel like i did write more but I just had to make up for what I, was, what I was taking out. It's kind of hard to keep track of word count when you're doing something like that and not just like straight up drafting, but hopefully I'll be getting into the stage where I'm straight up drafting in the next couple hours or at least by the end of today. Um, but just wanted to give you guys a little update. I feel like that's a pretty good hour of work for me. Um, I'm gonna brush my teeth because I haven't done that and keep going. Update you guys soon. Are y'all seeing this? I'm at negative 3,089 for this hour because I just took out like a whole chapter and I'm rewriting it. Um, I really hope I can get back up to like neutral or you know break even before the end of this hour but you know we'll see i 
feel like I should probably film one of these on the actual camera with the actual microphone, but in the name of efficiency, that is the name of the game today. So it's a little bit after lunch. I figured I'd do a quick like midday-ish update. I am officially four hours into this challenge. I originally had scheduled myself to take sort of a one hour break at like 12 to one, but I ate lunch at like 11.30 to now. So I'm just gonna go right back into it because there's no need to take a break, I guess. I actually went back, so I had a negative value for the day. And then I went back and edited some chapters and I'm really happy with the result. I feel like there's so much more momentum to the story. And I feel like all of the gripes I had, like the continuity and the feeling of like, oh, you know, the main character is investigating this, but it doesn't feel like she's being pushed that much. And now she's being pushed and like finding things out. And there's always like things being uncovered. There could be a little bit more, but like the bare bones are good now. Like we have good bones, which thank God, because <laughs> it's been so long of me like struggling with the first section of the fun and games part and having it not be fun and not be games. Another thing is that for the first time in a while, we had some like heavy June gloom over the first couple weeks of this month and now it's hot and I'm not very pleased about it. There's no sunlight directly hitting my desk now so I can finally work at my desk. I'm in like a chapter uh, eight through 10 sort of section. So just gonna, you know, keep chugging away, try to add some more words on. I'm pretty close to 30,000 words, which will be exciting. Honestly, by the end of today, I could probably hit 35,000. I feel like that's a very reasonable goal, which would be adding 10,000 words to it in a day, which is, pretty good, especially since I had to go back and take some stuff out. I am feeling really good about this challenge. Of course, the last time I did something like this, toward the end, I was just like, oh God, <laughs> what am I doing? All right, let's go. Sitting on my desk. How did you get up there? Sir, sir, can I help you? Sir? <laughs> Monty. Monty. <gasps> Wait, what are you doing? So I just hit 30,000 words in this draft. Um, definitely starting to lose steam. It's almost three o'clock. So I'm in like, I don't even know, hold on. Seventh hour. So I've almost had like a full work day. It's not so bad now, but I definitely feel like because I have to keep pushing until nighttime, um, like my vision kind of hurts. I think I'm gonna just like do some exercises and like rest my eyes a little bit just cause yeah, I've been staring at a screen for too long and I'm not used to that. But you know, 30,000 words, nothing to sneeze at, especially given that I've had to go back and cut quite a bit. Um, so like multiple hours have negative word counts. Most of my hours that don't have negative word counts have word counts of over a thousand. So I feel like I've been more than making up the difference. It's just a matter of like, how quality are those words? I'm starting to hit points where I've never really thought, like I've already surpassed the scenes I've outlined, so I'm not really sure where to go from here. I do need to lead into that big event that I was telling you guys about, and I think I've got my thread, but I almost feel like I could use a little more extra build up to that point, to that like action. Um, or to the characters taking that action. I just need like a lot of justification for this to happen because it's such a big swing for them. I know I'm speaking in really vague terms. I just don't want to like talk about plot specifics too much for, you know, personal reasons. It's kind of a weird book because it starts off as a typical murder mystery. Like the inciting incident is a murder, but so much spirals out from that point and so much comes to light. Honestly, when I think about this book, I do think of it as sort of a borderline literary novel where it's very character focused and it's very much like an, a dissection of these people and their relationships with this like academic institution and their ambitions. It's a very weird book. And I think that my biggest downfall has been treating it like a murder mystery. And now I'm sort of like pivoting away from that into the greater plot and conspiracy. But at the same time, the murder mystery is still like sort of happening in the background. Like you still are trying to find out how this happened and who did it and all that. And it's just like such a hard balance to strike because I don't want it to feel like a very sudden switch out of the murder mystery, but I don't want it to be the forefront for the entire book. I am enjoying writing this. I feel like I'm enjoying writing this segment a lot more than I thought I would. There's just like a lot going on. Like lots of character secrets have to come to light and lots of plot things have to happen as well. I feel like this will be a doozy to edit, but you know what? At this point, we're just trying to get it done, right? We just want to get it done so I can like have something on the page to revise and fix up into something readable. And then, you know, go out with it into the world. Uh, <laughs> I also just had like a short story idea a couple hours ago, which I really want to write, but obviously I have to focus on mods for now. I just have to. It's just what we're gonna be doing. So I just like jotted down my ideas for that really quick in my like short story scrivener document because I keep all of my short stories in one doc and then I'll just have to swing back to that another day. Okay, bye. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. 
So, hour 10. Why am I doing this? Why am I here? I miss my loved ones. I miss exercising. I miss not looking like a witch who has been living in a cavern for four years because that's what it feels like. I did hit the 30,000, or wait, no. I surpassed 30,000 mark a while ago. I added like 2,000-ish where it's a little over since then. Yeah, at least there's only two more hours left in this day. I think technically three because I have to round out this hour, but my work count is steadily dropping. I'm still usually hitting over a thousand. I've like basically hit the end of all my revisions that need to be done. And I've also hit the end of like the scenes I had outlined last night. And I kind of don't know how like where the story goes from here. I have to discover it, but I have to write quickly. So I'm kind of skipping around and writing scenes as they come to me and hopefully they can be stitched together later. Right now we're just sort of writing scenes. At 30,000 words, I feel like a book is Actually, more like at 20,000 words. That's when a book starts to feel like a book to me. There's that at least. It feels like something if I printed it out, I could hold it in my hands and it would be pretty hefty. Not substantially hefty, but hefty enough to feel like a thing. So that's pretty exciting because that's the first time I've gotten to this point with mods. And also I do feel like the first two acts are the strongest they've ever been. You know what? The thing is, we've got to keep pushing. Got to keep going. And man, I am, I'm hitting that wall. <laughs> I'm so dehydrated. I should drink water, but I haven't done enough of that today. Okay, bye. It is officially the end of day one. Once again, I'm splitting up this challenge into a 12-12 split. So I'm doing one day of 12 hours and another day of 12 hours, and that'll be 24 hours total because I am not about to write for 24 hours straight. And I also kind of don't want to write eight hours a day for three days in a row. Just gonna recap my accomplishments for the day. I actually revised pretty much every part of this book that needed revising so far. So the entire first act basically, except for the first couple chapters, as well as the first portion of act two, which was really shaky. I had to rewrite most of that. Because of that, I spent like the first half of the day mostly cutting words. So some of my like hourly word count totals are in the negatives. By the end, I was pretty consistently adding like around 800 to 2000 words per hour. So all in all, including the cuts, in 12 hours today I wrote 9,123 words, which is not too shabby. Last time I did a 12 hour writing challenge, I wrote somewhere around like 8,000 words. Troubles I ran into today, I started skipping scenes because I ran out of scenes to write. I have to outline I think a little bit more extensively because I severely underestimated how far that outline would take me, which was like not very far at all. I also like kind of realized that I don't really have a good grasp of this book's back half. I'm definitely past the midpoint twist at this point. I need to like start to tie up loose ends and also develop the secondary mystery as well and I just like haven't thought about that as much as I've been thinking about the first half which was causing me a lot of problems and so far it feels like it's slotting into place a little easier. It helps that the main antagonist is like finally fully in the story making their presence known and causing havoc and being like a direct source of conflict so there's just more momentum. While there's more momentum it kind of feels like the main thread of the story has been lost a little bit especially because at this point with the midpoint twist it's like oh everything you thought was true isn't basically there's some plot stuff to figure out for sure in this back half honestly i wish i could ruminate on it a little bit more before i dive right back into drafting tomorrow but maybe discovery drafting will help i took it pretty slow today i think not having a firm word count goal for every hour really helped. I tried to at least get past like 500 words every hour, which is a pretty light goal for me. And I would still have like an extra 15 minutes in each hour once I felt like I'd written a good amount for that time period. So I don't feel too drained, but also I feel very drained. <laughs> Toward like hour six or seven or eight, I don't even know. My brain was starting to cook at some point. I think also because it's kind of hot and humid and like gross right now. And it's one thing to do a challenge where you stay inside all day and like rot in your room when it's cold outside and it's winter and it sort of facilitates that kind of behavior. But when it's hot and sticky, oh boy, oh Lord. I wish I were at the swimming pool or the ocean right now. Cause like, what is this? I kind of don't know how this vlog will turn out. I feel like it's not that entertaining just because I'm just kind of like pushing through. I'm not having that many breakthroughs or insights. I'm making progress on my novel, which is nice, but like other than the suffering I'm putting myself through, I'm not sure what the entertainment value of this vlog is. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you find my suffering to be amusing. I at least enjoy like putting myself through the ringer and seeing like how I transform and come out on the other side. But I do think today was successful mostly because, yeah, I, again, I got to this point where this book feels like a real book. It feels like I no longer have to say, I just started writing this book or I'm just in the beginning stages. It feels like, oh, I'm working on this book. And pretty soon I feel like I can say, oh, it's nearly done. 
which I have said before and every time it was like kind of not true because I always get to this point where if I feel like I'm doing well in a draft, everything's going smoothly and like, you know, I'm making good progress. I'm like, oh yeah, I can finish this. I can knock this out real quick. And then inevitably I have to like cut so much stuff or go back and like rewrite and edit. And it's just like an absolute mess. <laughs> so progress is not progress until the progress is good progress. Don't know if that made sense. I am kind of losing it a little. I feel very sweaty and tired. <laughs> and I feel like I have accomplished a lot today, which is one of the nice things about challenges like these is I just get to push myself, see what my limits are or just like sit down and chunk a bunch of writing, which was basically my goal. I think that's pretty much a wrap on today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning when we start this all over again. Hey, so it is almost eight o'clock, just a couple minutes shy of 8 a.m. on day two. So June, why do I never know what day it is? June 18th of this 24 hour novel challenge. We're gonna do another 12 hours today, going strong. Yesterday I completed about 9,000 words of raw writing and that's with like 6,000 words of deletion. Today is going to be a pure drafting, no revising, only drafting like the rest of the second act of mods, which I don't really have a vision for. <laughs> My soft goal is to hit around 10,000 words today. I feel like that's very doable. I am actually going to set aside a little bit of time just to map out the rest of the scenes and figure out where the story is going. <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty laid back morning. I'm not gonna like push myself to hit word count goals because I don't really wanna burn myself out. So as of right now, I do feel pretty good about everything. I think there is definitely a lot of mapping out that I need to do because otherwise I'm just gonna be lost and writing, you know, boring conversation scenes over and over again, trying to move the story forward because that is what I fall back to and realizing that about myself has been so humbling in the worst way. I'm like, oh shit, I really do need to think about a scene. Otherwise it's going to be very bland. Already thinking back to some of the words I put in yesterday, I kind of am like, oh, there's a lot of errors there. Like there's a lot that needs to be revised, but we're not looking back, we're only looking forward. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we'll see how I feel at the end of this challenge. I'm trying to pace myself today. I'm trying to like eat well. Yesterday I was just like not eating very well. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and tackle today. Little midday update, oh my god, my hair. <laughs> Little midday update, because I just finished lunch. It's around 1, 10 p.m. I have 4,232 words under my belt. It is the sixth hour of the second day of the challenge, so the 18th hour overall. So we got six hours to go. Thank God, because I am ready to be done. So far today, I've definitely lost a lot of steam, just in terms of um, not being able to hit a thousand words super consistently every hour not really knowing where I'm going. I'm skipping around so much. I've like dug through the past like five versions of this book or like, you know, the bits and pieces that I wrote for previous. I always sort of write out of order with scenes because I just can't help it. So I'm finding those bits and pieces from previous drafts that I wrote and sort of like figuring out how to work them into this because I think I really will have to like take a hard look at the structure of this like second portion of the book because a lot of interesting stuff is happening but it's definitely a little bit more directionless but honestly that is a problem for future Lynn um I'm about to hit 40,000 words in this manuscript I feel like it'll be roughly 75,000 to 80,000 words long uh, originally I thought it'd be like 100k but I don't think it's gonna be that long at all that is a pretty slim fantasy book so that's interesting I don't know if it's actually that interesting I'm just like like running out of things to say as well as things to write. Words are just escaping me at the moment because my brain is so fried. But yeah, six hours to go, so let's keep pushing. I have some grapes, I have some water, I still have a lot of leftover smoothie because it wasn't that good, and I'm gonna keep writing. Act one, like the revisioned, the revised act one. So it just hit six o'clock, means I'm in the last two hours of this challenge. Definitely have lost a lot of steam. I've written slightly over 7,000 words total today, which means I probably won't be hitting that 10,000 word count goal just cause like, I don't know how I possibly could. I've been hitting under a thousand words pretty much every hour, like usually over 500, like 500 to 800 is the range. I'm very tired. I honestly considered just um, skipping an hour and taking a nap, but I'm not really a nap person. So I think I'm just gonna keep going. Um, and then at the end of this, I will reward myself 
myself greatly by just like eating a lot of dinner and um, taking a shower because I feel very greasy because it's been quite warm. But yeah, excited to give you guys my final update soon. I think that'll be the last piece of this video. Okay, ciao. It's 7.48 p.m. on Sunday. I am cutting this off a little bit early because I just <laughs> I can't do it anymore. My brain cannot produce words. I'm surprised that I'm even speaking right now because I don't think I know what words are anymore. What are words? What is English? What is writing? Um, so I've officially wrapped on the 24 hour novel challenge. I obviously did not write a full novel in this time period. I wrote pretty much exactly 9,000 words across each of the two days, which means I had a grand total word count of 18,148, which not too shabby. The last time that I did this, I had like 8,000 words in 12 hours. So I surpassed that by just a little bit. I don't think I will ever do this again. So I will never, ever, ever try to get past 9,000. So that's just what we're hitting. That's just the cap. Some more just insights, I guess. Definitely this day, this round of this, because I hadn't outlined as much, I was pretty much just not like writing up to a thousand words per hour. I tried to hit 500. I just like needed a lot more breaks, a lot more time to like scroll through social media. I've been scrolling through social media, specifically Twitter so much in the past few days. What the hell? I feel so brain rot. Like, <laughs> As you can tell, I've lost the words. My brain feels rotten. I don't like scrolling through Twitter that much. I would very much like to take a break from screens. I kept forgetting to like take eye strain breaks, which is not good. I don't think I'm meant for life at a desk in front of a screen because of this reason. Like I just can't keep track of how much time I've been staring at a screen for and I can't be accountable for myself to like take a break. But other than the complaints, honestly, I think this went really well. I'm having a lot of realizations about this book. I feel like it's quite a lot darker than I thought it would be and it was quite dark when I set out with the premise. As I'm getting into the second act, I'm exploring more of the main character's history and it's just like a lot, like just a lot of trauma there. But these have been sort of the easiest scenes to write just because it's all coming very like from the heart. I'm sort of losing the subplots. I would really like to go back. One of my favorite things to do after I've completed a draft or gotten a good way through is to just like map out an outline again by looking through each scene and then just sort of like almost writing a synopsis but really just writing an outline just rewriting your outline based off of what you actually put on the page and then figuring out where you drop your subplots or where you might like lose the conflict a little bit or the character's motivation really creating like an advanced outline based off what you have and then revising according to the outline i'm usually not that good at actually adhering to that specific set of steps but that's generally what I set out to do when I do like the huge developmental outline after the first draft which now that I'm at 44,089 words in mods um, I am close to the end of this draft. I feel like it's actually probably only going to be around like 30,000 words longer. There's still some stuff to wrap up and some things to flesh out in the end of act two specifically but really it's just like act three from here on out. Honestly this is kind of a five act Book. Again, the structure is really messy. I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, I'm going to just like talk through the plot and figure out what my goals are for the last half of this book with my friends. Honestly, like the last image is very clear in my mind and like the overall ending, but getting there is a little bit weird because I sort of like drop and then pick up the murder mystery element throughout the book a couple times because other things are just coming into play and it just gets like really intense, especially toward the middle. Dude, what else is there to say? I mean like, yeah, honestly, that concludes this. Um, thank you to the host of the 24 hour novel challenge for having this, ha hosting this and having this event. Dreamt up, you are um, a evil genius. <laughs> so I do want to do more writing challenges. I just don't like these like stamina ones. Something I do want to try out is famous author schedules or routines that a lot of people do. The ones that I have right now are like Donna Tartt and Kurt Vonnegut because I love them. But if you guys have any suggestions for other author routines, I will be doing YouTube and writing basically full time for the next couple months. So I want to like do content that sort of takes a little longer to get together. And I want to do some more vlogs again, but I want to do vlogs that have sort of a unique element to them like that. Yeah, let me know what types of writing challenges you'd like to see writing vlogs, anything of that nature, because we're going to be full time writing from here on out or from here on out starting next week, which is very exciting for me. I don't think I'll be doing full eight hour work days for writing because that, as I can attest to right now, that was not fun. Oh, another thing I've noticed is that 
my attention was straying not from this to other novels, which is usually the case, like other novels I want to write, but from this to short stories. I just kept coming up with so many short story ideas. My break was actually going on chill subs and just like looking through and bookmarking different magazines I want to submit to. I'm really on like a short story wave right now and I feel like that is a big reason why I've decided that I do want to take time off to focus on writing because I just want to like get all these short story ideas out of me and I feel like that is much more feasible and the amount of time that I have off before my next work contract. Anyway, that was all a long spiel about nothing. I'll talk about it more during my June update slash recap. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for sticking through it with me. If you participated in this challenge too, which I know a bunch of my like Twitter mutuals and friends did, then please let me know and let me know how you did. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.